We all know of the technological advances that we have come to know and love today. Everything from video games, to iPods, to new TVs. But what humble roots did these everyday luxuries have? In this video, I will show you a few of yesterday's inventions that set a basis for our technology we enjoy today. after school. You know what Elliot's gonna do? Jeff, too. Elliot's at work on a book report using Scripsit on Radio Shack's Color Computer 3. It hooks up to his TV. And Jeff's at his Radio Shack Color Computer 3 playing the newest football game. But wait, what's Elliot doing playing new Super Pitfall? And Jeff's having a blast with a new math tutor. You never know what you might try with more than 100 programs for fun and learning. Radio Shack's Color Computer 3 comes with everything you see here. Other items each sold separately. Only at Radio Shack. Ah yes, the personal computers of the 1980s, when the PC first began to take flight. Although they were primitive, the object behind them were to make people's jobs more efficient. They had simple programs that would handle numbers and, once in a while, some sort of graphics program to help people. Keep in mind also that computers prior to the late 70s were huge enough to fill a whole room and were so expensive that only research firms, universities, and other well-off institutions could afford them. So needless to say, the personal computer that could fit in your house was a big deal. These are the specifications of an early IBM PC. It has 4.77 megahertz of processing power, 16 kilobytes of RAM, 160 kilobytes of floppy drive space, all for a convenient $1,565. Next we have early mobile phones. Needless to say, by this commercial, our cell phones have come a long way. This early cell phone was truly new for its time. It weighed two pounds, offered a half an hour of talk time per charge, and costed an even more convenient $4,000. Not bad for an early cell phone. Up next, Portable music players. Now you can lose inches off your waistline effortlessly. Thanks to the new Super Walkman from Sony, the world's smallest cassette player. And while you lose inches here, with Sony sound, you won't lose a thing here. The new Super Walkman, indisputably the world's smallest cassette player. The Walkman, originally sold in Japan, was a sensation. It played cassette tapes so you could listen to music on the go. It ran on four AA batteries, costed around $100, and some even had a microphone for recording. Next, the home game system. Today we've all seen this. And this. But back in the 80s, this is where it was at. Discover a world beyond your wildest dreams. Discover Atari. Pioneers in coin video games like Centipede, Tempest, and Asteroids. They'll challenge you, excite you, test you like never before. Discover the Atari that opened your eyes to the world's most popular home video games like Space Invaders, Missile Command, and Warlords. The Atari 2600 housed some of the most memorable games in history and cost only $200 retail. By the mid-80s, however, it was soon passed up by the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES. In the end, these were just a few of the technological gadgets we developed in the 80s, but they stood as a basis for all our own technology today. 
The key to technology is innovation, and through gradual changes in making our technology better, we have achieved all that we have today.